hello guys my name is atari red liz and thank you for watching and subscribing to a chat with atari red liz and those who have not yet subscribed please subscribe and knock on that bell well my pre my previous conversation was about uncle I connect where i connect with all the uncle people you know about those interviews about what they do what they really love about their culture yeah but uh today I'm here to talk about tips about a healthy relationship yeah because most of the people are all in different relationships some of them in their workplaces some of them at school some of them at university as well the chat with mariana k has brought you tips about a healthy relationship yeah so one of them is keep keep contact with your partner first of all yeah for example maybe i have a boyfriend or i have a wife Whenever I want to talk about something, we should be talking it face to face. Some of the, uh, most of the times, phones, uh, WhatsApping messages, texts, they fade away things in that even they bring up cheating most of the times. Well, if you really want your partner to love you more, so hey, why don't you maybe just call them on a date? I'll take them out for coffee, you know, such things are really very sweet and really very adorable. And then second of all, stay connected using communication. For example, maybe you've gone up country, you've gone to work, or you've gone to a different university and maybe you have a, another boyfriend in the university. So hey, why don't you call them? If you don't call them, which means they are going to be, they're going to create some things in their mind, you know. For example, me, I've ever been in one relationship whereby the guy went to Mbara and hey, guess what? The guy did communicate. So sometimes even I tried to call and then he used not to pick up. But um, I talked to him in that we communicated, really connected and he really understood what I was meaning. So hey, when you go somewhere very far, stay connected in communication with your partner or with your boyfriend or with your wife it's really really very romantic and it makes someone think that you really love them and really care about them and what is the sweetest thing that they can say i just wanted to hear your voice and that's really really very adorable then another thing keep your intimacy alive okay we know that all sex is the intimacy that people know most most of the people know but hey it's not the only thing uh, you can be hugging, you can be kissing, you can be doing other things related to intimacy, you can romance. That is to keep your your sexual relationship, your sexual life really very alive. It's not all about sex. Because most of the times, ladies think that men use them for sex. But hey, if you don't close it, will you die? Especially the men. Guys, keep your sexual intimacy alive with your partner by kissing them, by hugging them, by just cuddling, you know? Not every time it's all about sex. And uh, the fourth one is be prepared for the ups and downs in a relationship. Well, if you want to be very committed in a relationship, please be prepared for the ups and downs, especially if you love your partner. But if you just want to use them, I think there is nothing to be scared of whether it's a down or a up because maybe you're independent or something but be prepared for the ups and downs for example maybe if your partner doesn't have money you have to be there for them if you leave which means you just wanted them for money but maybe not because of their character but because of money so hey if you really want to be in a very committed relationship please be prepared for the ups and downs well i've ever been there and hey it was a hell of experience a very very big experience but it's a very good advice for you who is watching a chat with a tyrant leads and another one learn to take in and out of your relationship okay most of the relationships they say that we have to give in your hundred percent but most of the time you should not because for example i may be loving a guy or i may be loving my husband but but they don't give in their hundred percent in in the end they they you you get disappointed you get heartbroken well maybe put like 90 don't trust them too much or don't love them too much because you'll get heartbroken for example if they cheat you get it you get it so 
in a relationship they always say you do some effort he will also do some effort you don't leave everything to your person as i said you take in and you take out it's just like an exchange for example if i have a guy he does something for me that is really very sweet i mean me in exchange what am i going to do i'm not just going to sit there you know and maybe just watch tv or be on my phone i have to do something that is really very beautiful like to keep our relationship alive so it's an exchange even emotional feelings even um physical feelings even mentally for example if he has a problem but you shouldn't give in your hundred percent because most of the people in are in relationships because they don't trust their partner some of them but it's good to always trust your partner and you you give in at least your 90 percent not your hundred percent because we may think that people even can die for us but when they cannot but hey keep your relationship very intact if you want part if you want your partner to really? stay in your life well that was from me because of i've really had very many relationships those were five tips i start with at higher release you can follow me on twitter that is at that is at higher release instagram at higher release and also on facebook at higher release and you who has not yet subscribed my god what are you waiting for please subscribe to my youtube channel i'm here for you and i'm always going to keep you entertained and always informed and always give you some advice on anything that 